I've already tried to capture what I want to say today in one, in one take, and it hasn't worked, so let's take another. Keep it super. scale of consciousness <coughs> is a model of emotion and mental states devised by David Hawkins. <coughs> it starts at zero, where death is, and it goes up through shame, apathy, grief, uh, guilt, fear, anger, pride, up to courage, neutrality, willingness, acceptance. Reason, love, joy, peace, and enlightenment at the top. So, <clears throat> how does it relate to motivation? Well, I believe it's the key to understanding compulsion, to understanding why we do things that we don't want to do and we don't do things that we want to do. I think that the insights that come out of Hawkins' work is so, 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 so profound that the things that we cling to, we have a pay off in clinging to them. The things that we resist are actually the things that, um, in a way, we're clinging, clinging to, the things that, we, that we're tense about persist. What we resist persists, I think that's a phrase I've heard somewhere else. I hear little things from, from across all different disciplines that kind of remind me of stuff that Hawkins has said in regard to this scope. Basically, <clears throat> this scale and the insights into emotion that it provides, I believe is how we can understand Rest emotion and the compulsive behaviors that come from it, and for us to figure out how to root them out and become the kinds of people that we know, we already know that we are deep down, it's just covered up by these frustrating, frustrated things we can't help but do. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to start talking about how we do that. So, it's much better than that. That's it for the day.